Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. First of all, tell me what is transaction. Transaction is the line by line execution of a user program and it is seen by DBMS as a series of read and write operations. There are four properties of transactions to maintain data in the face of concurrent access and system failure. Here concurrent access means the same data is accessed by multiple users to do read and write operations. Now let's see what those four properties are. ACID is an acronym for those properties. A stands for atomicity, C stands for consistency, I for isolation and D stands for durability. ACID is a set of properties of database transaction in order to ensure accuracy completeness and data integrity. Let's see them one by one. But before that make sure you have subscribed my channel and hit the bell icon so you'll get notification whenever I upload a new video. Now let's see these properties one by one. First is Atomicity. Atomicity says either all actions are carried out or none. Users should not have to worry about incomplete transaction. For example, 5000 rupees has to transfer from account A to B. A has 15000 in his account and B has 5000 in his account. Total of their account should be 20000, right? In order to transfer 5000, we need to do some read and write operation on database. Those are first read balance from A's account. Whatever balance is, we will deduct 5000 from A's account. Then we will read balance from B's account and add amount 5000 rupees in that balance and update the database. Initially A will have 15000 and B will have 5000 in their account and total is 20000 rupees. After successful transaction A will have 10000, B will also have 10000 and total will be 20000 the same. So when transaction takes place for execution, first this will execute, then second line will execute successfully, then third line will execute and suppose in fourth line we got some error and could not execute this line successfully. Now what? We have already deducted 5000 amount from A's account, right? But not able to update B's account and now database is in inconsistent state. Total of A and B's account is not 20,000, it is 15,000. The 5,000 rupees gone from database and it should not happen. Atomicity rule says that either all transactions are carried out or none. So we will roll back the transaction where it was at the beginning. Now A has its 5,000 back. Total of both account is 20,000 and we are good to go now. So you know now what is atomicity. Atomicity and durability are like recovery managers. It ensures that if something went wrong, it should not affect our database. So let's see what is durability. Durability says any changes made by transactions that should be preserved back to the disk. Once transaction has been successfully completed, its effect should be persistent even if system crashes or power failure or even if you shut down or restart the system. Your changes should be there permanently in the disk. In short, committed data should not be lost even after power failure. Ok, the next one is consistency. This rule says data should be valid according to all defined rule at any given point. Each transaction run by itself with no concurrent execution of other transaction and it must preserve consistency. At any given point, one should not expect to detect inconsistent due to error in user's programming logic or faulty transaction. So in previous example, when 5000 rupees leaves from A's account, then for fraction of seconds total of A and B becomes 15000 which temporarily leaves database inconsistency. So for that time, either the table should be locked so no one can read dirty uncommitted entries or provide them old values to read. 
and last one is isolation which gives feeling that only your transaction is there that is you are only the one who access database but in reality it is not the database is shared by many users this property ensured by guaranteeing that even though actions of several transaction might be interleaved the net effect is identical to executing all transaction one after another for example there are two transactions in first transaction i want to send 5000 rupees from account a to b and in second transaction i want to transfer 3000 rupees from account b to a so we have two sets of transaction if transaction 1 executes first followed by transaction 2 then we are transferring first 5000 rupees from account a to b and then again we are transferring 3000 rupees from account b to a at the end a will have 13000 and b will have 7000 in their account now think if we transfer 3000 from account b to a first and then transfer 5000 from account a to b then also we will get same result these two transactions are separate not interfering each other's data even if they are using same data they are not using each other's dirty data so user feels that only his transaction is running on the database So now you know all the properties the asset properties in totality provides a mechanism to ensure correctness and consistency of a database in a way such that each transaction is a group of operations that acts as a single unit produces consistent result acts in isolation from other operations and updates that it makes are durably stored Let me know if you have any doubt in asset properties. Please like the video. If you think this video is helpful, then share with your friends. See you in the next video. Bye.